Should I do a spell? Do do something. Uh, 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 take me somewhere else, not in this costume. I've known Mads for three and a half years. Mads Lewis is a TikToker and a YouTuber. She started this process, I think, seven years ago. She's a triplet from Phoenix. She was one of sort of the original content house girlies. Now she's really pretty squarely focused on her acting and her writing. She's always been kind and thoughtful about how she builds her career and how she builds in acting how she's building in her new book. It's a poetry book and it's pretty freaking good. I've memorized a little bit of her poetry and all this morning I've not quite been able to get the poetry right. I could stare at you for hours to be in your power. You are my favorite storybook. Uh, line. So we're gonna go grab her from Burbank Airport right now. Make a couple stops, spend a little time together. Hopefully give you a little bit of insight in what she's been up to and what's coming out for her in 2024. Hi. Hey. Do you want to eat? Please. Okay, let's do find you want to eat? more than anything in the entire okay, world. Where do you want to go? Wait, you're from New York, right? I live in New York. Okay, so in and out because you don't have in you and don't have in and out there. In and out it is. Okay, great. I wrote you something special just for you. As people might not know, but they'll learn today, you're a poet. I am. And so I wrote I wrote you a poem. So if you don't mind reading it out loud directly into your camera. Okay. That would be great. In the car with Marshall, what a blast. Haven't seen him in years. What a pleasant, handsome friend from the past. He is so talented, easy to talk to. He has a natural way to catch up and to schmooze. Is that what that says? Yeah, schmooze too. Schmooze. It's like a, it's like one of those like, like you skip a line rhymes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like, comment, and Brilliant. subscribe to Marshall will pick you up. If this goes well, he might even bag morning shows, superstar Billy crewed up. Yeah. That was good. So I, at first, I totally copped out. I chat GPT. Okay. And my chief of staff was checking me and you guys are the same age. Mm -hmm. And she and she called me and she goes, Marshall, you lazy piece of shit. Shout out Sam, thank you for calling me that. <laughs> this is chat GPT. Sit down, get creative, and write your own poem and so I sat down and I got creative and I wrote my own poem. I mean the effort was there, it was good. I, I give it an, an 8 out of 10. Let's talk about your book. So I actually have my book with me. Show look. the can you show the book to the yeah, camera? Yeah, show the book to the camera. Okay, great. This is the first look. You this is really exciting. Lucky. This is the first look at the book. The the book is called just a book. The book right now I'm holding is called Just a Book, but we're actually changing the name to She's More Than Love. Is literally my entire Life. Thank you very much for sending it to me. What made you want to do poetry? So I've been writing poetry for the past, I would say four years of my life. I wrote poetry in seventh grade as a project that we had to do and I fell in love with it immediately. There's no names in it. It's not a drama filled book. It's literally just everything that has to do with my heart. Oh, I, I blew the turn again. <laughs> I, I think I can. I think I can hang a Yui here. Drive. Okay, remember, you're gonna go straight. It looks like you're going straight to the right, just a bit, but you're not gonna make a full right, <laughs> so we don't miss. I think you're gonna get out of the car here before I before I get you home, and that's just gonna be that. No shots at, at certain ones of our mutual friends, but you're like a best actor among the bunch. Thank you. I actually do appreciate that compliment. Um, a lot of people will always be like, you only started doing acting because of influencing and you just don't want to be an influencer anymore, like I just said. But I do acting because I enjoy film. And then I started acting when I was 13 on a series called Chicken Girls. Yeah. For literal giggles. Like, it was because we were all friends, we all wanted to be on the show, I knew the producers, I knew the people who owned Brat. So we did it for fun. Okay, what are like, I need a couple of like, Absolute travel essentials. You you brought next to nothing. I did bring next to nothing. I usually bring next to nothing, but about twenty pairs of underwear because every female knows. What if you f yourself? What if something happens and you have diarrhea everywhere? What are you, what are you at? Oh, this guy was gonna move over on top of us. Oh, this is really easy. You're this driving the wrong. Really early for sassy. <laughs> really early for. It's sassy. Never too early for sassy. Um, you wake up sassy. You go to bed sassy. 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 How'd you meet Hayden? I actually met him a year ago. Didn't give me the literal time of day. Literally did not give me the time. But you thought he was a babe. Ugh, babe. I eventually see Hayden again. I'm like, oh, love of your life. Guy that ignored me at Coachella. Cool. 
And then he was like, hey, want to come to my birthday? I was like, yeah, sure. We're going to a club. Okay. I'm like, you're really hot, by the way. And he's like, oh, okay. Scoots closer. He leans and he goes, I really want to kiss you right now. I'm like, then kiss me. We make out. It's history. I feel like I've always been in relationships where I just get treated like donkey. And I was like, ew, I have the biggest dick right now. You're the nicest person I've ever met in my life. I hate you. <laughs> and he just continued to be that nice guy. And now I'm in love with this nice guy. I promise you, nice is better. Okay, all right, let's do a few quick fire, rapid fire questions. Okay. What is your love language? Just gift giving. Gift giving, gift giving. Oh gosh, I love gift giving. Most important thing that you keep in your fridge? Most important thing I keep in my fridge? Cottage cheese. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be haunted by a ghost or have bed bugs? <gasps> haunted by a ghost. Thank you, that was exactly my answer. A ghost I can eventually find a way to find yeah. some underground with. I'd be like, okay, haunt me a bit. Come on, I need some haunt content. Haunt me, baby. Mads the most haunted girl I know. Yeah, most haunted girl I know. We are plugged up to In-N-Out, what do you want? Oh, this is the, I think this is the In-N-Out line. No, this is the In-N-Out line. What, do you live, are you in the neighborhood? Neither of us are. Mm -mm. Okay, is this your daughter? Uh, <laughs> I had to do hey, it. Hey, Dad. What, 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 what ages do you think we are? Oh, you're hitting 40. I'm 30. Well, that's newly 30. Next to 40 now. Is it? I think it's the other way. And she's, uh, she's gotta be 22. 20. 20. Nice meeting you. You're 40. That's brutal. You're 40. God bless. Mm. Yes. Uh. Mm. Mm. Okay, so with food in my mouth. Mm hmm. We met briefly a few years ago. Right, and I don't remember. And you don't remember, which is a little offensive. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest change in your life between, like, I'd say three and a half years ago and today? I'm happy. I have a book coming out. Yeah. I'm in a healthy relationship with a person I love. Mm -hmm. And I'm finally with a management company and an agency that I actually care. I know that acting and the writing are both things that you're passionate about, but mm -hmm. how did you sort of decide, like, how you're going to spend most of your time? Because your, your day... While it is really busy and you kind of work your ass off, it is your own. Like, the things that you fill your day with are up to you. So how do you sort of prioritize? Well, let me just start off by saying, I'm an influencer, so I can say this. Influencers are the laziest people you ever meet in your life. Like, you'll- Most are. Like, yes, a lot of people do want to work and we want to get to where we are. But once you start doing influencing and things like that, like, oh, I have four meetings. Oh, I'm so sad. Like, it's horrible. Like, we complain about everything. So, I try my best to not be that person. Try to keep myself motivated and keep myself moving every single day, whether it's going on a run, working out, um, reading some emails or anything that has to do with work. Because yeah. if I don't, I'm back to it. You know I love Harry Potter, which I think you love more than anything in the entire world. In the entire world. And so I thought that we would do a little Harry Potter quiz. Okay. What is the name of the founder of the Ravenclaw House in Hogwarts? Rowena Ravenclaw. And that was a that was actually a uh, multiple choice, but oh. you you jumped it and you're you're right. Which magical plant is known to be a cure for petrification and played a crucial role in the Chamber of Secrets? Oh my God! Mandrake. A. Gillyweed. B. Devil Stare. C. Mandrake. Mandrake. Or, wow! Let's go. <laughs> name the three different types of balls used in Quidditch. The Bludger, the Quaffle, and the Gold Snitch. Great. What is Luna Lovegood's father's name? Uh, uh sort of the, give me a second. Do, 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 <laughs> no, do, 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 do. <laughs> Luna Lovegood, dad, his name is, I know his name, it's on the tip of my tongue. Like it's Celius or something, like something Xenophilius. like that. Xenophilius, that's actually not okay. a terrible guess. Okay. All right, bonus question, and I think that this might get you over the top here. What is Filch the Hogwarts caretaker's greatest secret? Filch? Yeah. Greatest secret? Yeah. What? What is he? What is he? He's a, I don't know. Filch is a... Filch, mean piece of shit. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Filch is a squib. Ah! And I gave, oh my God. So you said that your, your love language was gift giving. Yeah. So I got you a little guest <laughs> gift. This is for you. Baby, it's a wand. And we, we, we got this one custom made for you. So it's got. <gasps> it says my name. That is 
is so nice. Give it a wave. Okay. Does that make me Ollivander? It does make you Ollivander. You have to be like, well, give it a wave. Okay, a little bit harder than yeah, that. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> Should we go again? Let's do it one more time. Okay. Okay, okay ready? Three, two, time. one. <laughs> Holy Um. You're Marshall? an elephant. Oh my gosh, you're an eagle. What the uh, uh, should I do a spell? Do, do something. Uh, 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 take me somewhere else, not in this costume. <sighs> okay, never again. Okay, why don't you put that thing back in the box? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. This was super fun. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you for hanging out. Anytime.